Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Me blood club, when you really want to do this, go suck your man, Muma! Michael, we have never met when man a boy Gone, a man a bus, gone, people life Gone, tell just man young but no no Stop a bad man this Minor, you a pass your place Gun chat you put in your face Yes, no, Spanish stone Beanie a go beat popcorn with the doo-doo stick <laughs> Who usually sing that song? Who usually sing that song? The daily coming home usually sing it Welcome everybody, welcome back to my channel. Big up to all of my new subscribers, old subscribers, big up to all of my old viewers, new viewers, and a big up on yourself. Well, and let me give a shout out, a happy birthday shout out to one of my top subscribers, one of my faves. Big up yourself, Chaddy Pedley, on your birthday. I hope you have a great day. Yes, so people, Beanie released a diss song for Popcorn. It's titled, Mind How You Are Past Your Place, Pan the 13th Friday Rhythm. 13th Friday Rhythm, you know, what I say Friday 13th, but 13th Friday Rhythm, and Sean is the records do it. So, yes, people, Beanie, as I said, he released a diss track for Popcorn. So, how we know say a Popcorn him at all? Because, mind you, him have the no idea style where him not directly call somebody name, but based on references to Popcorn, we know say a Popcorn. So, first, as the song start off, him say, go suck your man, mama. Right, we all know that this is the phrase that caused the friction between Beanie Man and Popcorn. Right, so at first, him did I say, I never popcorn him did I talk, and now he put it in the district. So we know for sure now, say a popcorn he might talk about. Right, so secondly, no, him said microwave. Thanks to Alkaline, that's Popcorn's name. When you come on to clashing microwave, once I just say that in a dance hall clash, we know say a popcorn you talk about. You see me? So our next reference was why start war and I run under cellar. I interpret it as being a reference to the clash between popcorn and my father. You know, popcorn going to start up this clash and him couldn't finish it instead he surrendered and you know that's gonna always be a tarnish tarnish on popcorn's reputation when the command to the clash that big surrender come on that now go let him feel now and only really fans on the self know this too said that is a blunder on popcorn's side you see me so anyways moving along why the panning net a trace like Angela? Right? <laughs> we know say a popcorn him attack because after the whole video did release with being him and attack about go suck your man mama. We did feel say a suck your mother and say. And we did feel say a popcorn him attack about. And popcorn did feel say yo and me being him attack about. In the company net and him a trace and him. Well, now I say trace. We now use being the words. And they come and I respond to being him man. So being is say you are trace your company net a trace like Angela. Beanie he went on further in the song, he mentioned Killy Killy. Who say Killy Killy? Who say Killy Killy? Which dancehall artist say Killy Killy? We all know it's popcorn. We all know a popcorn say Killy Killy. And he mentioned being him that is mentioned Killy Killy in a say oh when Killy Killy you know the thing. Yes. So we know say a popcorn indirectly a refer to right so. So based on those references, I conclude say a popcorn in my talk about. But on a different note though, people. Right? On a different note, I must say that it has been quite a while 
a long time me no see beanie. I go on so I behave like this. A clash. I call up people name. It's been a while. I don't know if it's because his nemesis bounty killer chose the road of peace and the road of positivity and him now bother with him warlord self and him now bother going and no beef with beanie anymore. So you know what I say? That aspect of it calm down is it me that the part of being in my career it kind of calm down in addition to that we must mention me i go off on a tangent now but i have to mention that there is a void in dancehall there is a void there the clashing segment is like it's so stagnant it's so stagnant we have a few artists yes like Tommy Lee and Jamil what they are trying to revive it but I know I mean I know if I because sting dead and gone why we not really have no clash in a guan and yes you know a bag of people are come talk about we need peace and we need that and we musical look how much people are dead off blah 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 re, 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 and so and so and so forth but I can go into a epistle. Can go in our epistle when you come on to the clashing segment and me no want to hear no foolishness. What me just say a while ago about the killing them in the country and re 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 re. We can't have that debate. It can go on and on and on and on and on and on. So I'm not gonna go there. All I can say is when the artist them I go clash, let it remain lyrical. Don't take nothing physical, is it me? And I probably that's why we not have the clash because these young people probably I translate the lyrics and I take it personal and I will carry out the actions. Probably that's why. And if that's the case, well, can't complain then, right? But as a dance hall fan, we did love the clashing. We did love the clashing. We did love the war past stage. I mean, wish it would have come back and just stay as it was in the past, isn't it? Just straight lyrical clash. So, being in this void, and of course, he might go come now and start a clash because he knows that everybody is going to talk about the clash worst if popcorn go answer right now. It's going to be a big deal. And this is what I think Beanie wants. Beanie wanted to be a big deal so he can remain relevant you know nobody can cuss me so you can remain relevant among the youth among the younger populace isn't me yeah he did that back in the day with vibes cartel when vibes cartel did around the place and you don't know being the comment about a cause and mr riri and then we we the youngsters then did I talk about Beanie? Even though he was before our time. I talk about Beanie, I talk about Beanie, I talk about Beanie. So probably the same card in my draft to play right now. I may not say nothing wrong with that. Because enough people believe that because you reach a certain age, you have to stop the music or because you have such a longevity of a whole catalog of music. You need to stop now. I don't support that. Me believe say if you love music, you can't even do it by your deathbed. And if you can release it, you can get a hit, do it. Mota Masina have no problem with that. You see me? So yes, perfect opportunity. This is the perfect opportunity for Clash Popcorn because popcorn is a very hot right now. Locally and internationally, popcorn a big artist. So if Beanie as Beanie did release a diss track theme if pop can come back now and respond to the clash sorry respond to the track what being released and also it's gonna be a bigger ordeal right yes and that they so in a, that direction let me feel the being want to pick up but overall let me wrap up now overall this song is a good song i like it my man of Beanie is a veteran in the business. Beanie, it took your song, conscious song, he made Ras Moses, clash song, he took all type of songs. So, it come as a surprise to me, say, this song is a good song. 
well produced, well mixed down, metaphors up, rhymes up, flow up. In my ride the rhythm like a true veteran. I really like this song. And my favorite part of this song is the second verse. People who can't go and go check out, who can't go and go check out the second verse to me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm wrapping up now. But first, before I go, I have to talk about this lady on Instagram. She goes by the name of Anne Marie Winter. Our food them of my mouth a water like every day. The presentation our food them up. It's like we can taste it through the phone. I mean no say taste food. And my man is like say she tie my man with our food. Me can't cook you know. Me know nobody out this amount of money can't cook you know because me can't cook you know. But and Marie, I must tell you your presentation, it's it's just appealing. And if you have a restaurant, if you did the Jamaica of a restaurant, if a bus me have to take, if a taxi me have to take, if I want me have to walk, when I walk, come, come buy your food, my girl. Believe me, a thing up, up, yeah. And me can't, me know, me I go swear, me know, me never eat your food yet, but me know say it tastes as good as it look. <laughs> Anyways, people, that's enough for me. Me gone big up on a nice clean self a Mouta Massey. Mouta Massey. Mouta Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment and subscribe now. Now. Um, when the podcast in a song I say, my family used to buy um, three sardines and one corner of rice and shop. I said three sardines and one corner of rice. Pussy in a bag of shop, yeah. That's something, yeah, man. Three sardines and one corner of rice. A man know how much is three sardines? Yeah. Seven money. fish in a one sardine. Yeah, Yo, Granik sing one song where I say, Oh, Dread, your mouth ain't gonna put you in a problem. Are you that Dread Dini? The ramp in me here. That me I tell you. <laughs> Real. The boy I was snake. <laughs>